Hey Lake Travis Prayer, and this is Kyle coming to you with another Gatekeeper Encouragement, this time for the month of November. I want to share a few verses for you out of Galatians 6, and these were the verses that were put on my heart as I prayed about what to share with you guys. So they're Galatians 6, verses 7 through 10. So they say this, they say, Do not be deceived, God is not mocked, for whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption, but he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not grow weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. So specifically verse 8 here, where Paul says, For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption, but he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life, or eternal life, or that quality of life that Jesus promised us in John 10.10, abundant overflowing life. So when we sow to our flesh, it's really clear what we're going to reap. We're going to reap what the flesh reaps, and that's corruption. But when we sow or invest time in spiritual things, specifically reading the Bible and focused prayer and focused intercession, which is what a lot of the time happens during your gatekeeper time, when we sow to the Spirit, we reap everlasting, eternal, quality life, life spent with God. And so I just want to encourage you guys that When you come in and spend time as a gatekeeper, you are doing the good part. You are doing the part where you're sowing into the Spirit. and You're going to reap from the Spirit. And I'd much rather reap from the Spirit here and now than reap from the flesh here and now. And so I just want to encourage you with that, guys. Verse 9 says, Let us not grow weary or grow tired or grow discouraged while doing good. Because there's a promise here, For in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. So that speaks, that last part speaks about the courage that we need to maintain, the perseverance, the patience. If we do not lose heart in our times of intercession, our times of prayer, our times of of spending extended time in the Bible, we will reap in due season. And we don't know when that season is going to come, but we know it's promised. So let us not grow weary while doing good. Let us stay encouraged. I hope this video encourages you. I hope that you see that, hey, I'm I'm sowing into the Spirit whenever I spend time as a gatekeeper. And so that's a good investment. You're going to reap that quality of abundant life that only Jesus can give through the Holy Spirit through those times as you spend here in this prayer room as a gatekeeper. And then verse 10, I love this. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. And I think about if someone asked me, what's the best thing, Kyle, that I can do for you? It's a really simple answer. Pray for me. The best thing you can do for the household of faith, which talks about all the other believers in your life or in this area, the best thing you can do for them, the good thing you can do for them is, is cry out to God for their blessing. Because only He can ultimately bring the blessing that lasts. And so, as we have opportunity, as we have times in our schedule, let us do good to all. Let us do good by praying for other people, by praying for our church, by praying for our family, by praying for our region. Let us pray and do good to the household of faith. So that's what you do here as a gatekeeper. So keep it up. Do not grow weary. Do not lose heart. 